you have two adopted kids? Yes. How did you come to that? And why didn't you torture your wife's body with IVF? We did. Oh, you did? Yes. Great. Yes, we did for years. Uh, and we did until uh, we could bear it. We could bear it no more. Um, and uh, yeah, and man, that was a hard... It's funny, being on the other side of it, uh, of of IVF, yeah, being of on like the other tried side it of and... IVF and having adopted kids and having having the family. Um, there's like I'm of two very distinct minds. One is like, what the fuck did we spend all of that energy and heartache and resources and time and misery? chasing that thing when we this was available all along we yeah. could have just skipped all of that and yeah. just jumped to this yeah you know and at the same part you're very cognizant of like because if we didn't we wouldn't have gotten these two kids we would have gotten two other kids yeah and it's so clear that like Oh, these are the kids that, you know, I was born to father. Mm -hmm. These are those kids. And I guess uh, somewhere somebody decided that uh, while I was waiting for them to show up, I would have to spend, you know, my wife and I would have to spend seven years of our lives making ourselves miserable uh, to get there. Uh, I guess that's just how it went. And and then I look at it and go, you know, well, I guess we we learned some things along the way that are, that are valuable. Um, but man, that was hard. I, it was so hard. I have, uh, it's funny. It's like that secret, because people call and they want to ask you, they want to talk to you about it. And you have this secret, uh, which for me was that I know what you're going through is really, I just, I know where you are. Mm -hmm. I've been there. I know what that is. The sort of middle the passage The IVF, of, the infertility IVF. stuff, the whole like it's just not working and you're yeah. you're doing everything you can. Self-judgment. Yeah. All, yeah, and the, the oh, you know. Uh, and having been on the other side of that grace of, because I, I met both my daughters at the hospital, right? Um, they're both adopted from birth. So with each of them, I have this, crystal clear moment of just seeing them and having the thunderbolt, the flood. I don't know what it's like if you're biologically related. Yeah. I can't, it's hard for me to imagine that there's another level mm -hmm. beyond the one that I got to experience. Maybe there is, yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't need it. I don't need it. Uh -huh. um, this is extraordinary. Uh, but I also know that if you had told me that when I was two two years into the seven years of misery, I'd have been like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, oh, that's nice. That's yeah. so nice for you. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so it's, uh, yeah. So that's one where you just, again, you realize it's like you're going to go, you, people are going to go through what they're going to go through. They're going to decide what they decide. They're going to come out of it, how they come out of it. It's going to work. It's not going to work. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it any 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 other way. Yeah. I wouldn't do it any other way. And we went from, uh, I mean, it was pretty clear we weren't we were not going to conceive biological children uh, together. But it went from a place of like, now we were worried that maybe we would because we didn't want that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we didn't want that for our adopted children to introduce a biological child into the mix and now have- You were so worried you moved out of the house, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fortunately, I didn't have to. So that's, uh, that's, the wonderful, that's the wonderful thing about physical infertility is that just usually it stays with you. <laughs> that, that, what a blessing. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, well, the funny thing, because I, I have a, I, I'm, I, my girl has a kid and I got to think that the, well, the mechanics of parenting are no different. No. So, and you wonder how much of this is just proximity? How much of attachment is proximity? Yeah. Of just like, you're, I always say like watching uh, parents and kids, it's like, it's like they're cops on a stakeout. 
where they're just they're just stuck together yeah and you're just gonna bond i think i think what i realized was there's a system that you know the human animal has evolved to uh create new biological kids right to make sure that kids and there's a system that has evolved uh whereby uh those kids get raised and taken care of you know and treasured and valued and like whatever i thought they were the same system and so i thought if you didn't if this system didn't happen this system was not going to kick in what i kind of came to realize and it was incredibly surprised like i was sitting in the hospital waiting for my daughter resigned to the idea of like yeah this is going to be good right i It'll mean be like yeah it's going to be great uh, like we're, we're i'm happy this yeah. is what i wanted and 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 it's gonna you know and it, it may i i just might not to get to do like i might not get that and that's so i don't have that yeah. but this is going to be great and then close second yeah, the flood of this made me realize, oh, these fucking systems aren't, they're not connected at all. They're not, I don't even think, I don't think they're tethered. I don't think there's anything, maybe there's something. Because I guess you hear stories where people come out and they they find out like, oh, that's not my kid. And now they write the kid off yeah. and they da-da-da and they do that. So maybe that's a piece. Maybe that's a biological piece. Maybe that's not just like a, you know, uh, social piece. Because it happens the other way too, where people are like, oh, I found out that's not my kid. But, not, man, yeah, that's my kid. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that was my thing is that I didn't, I realized I didn't understand it as well as I thought I understood it. And I had gone through all the kind of rage. You go through the rage that you go through say fuck you to god and uh, yeah i'm done with you you're not even a good god yeah like, you hey. suck you <laughs> suck at being god you know what are you even doing yeah. you know and you know and then to have god just kind of quietly shut up and take it uh and then turn around and give you this gift um yeah it's fucking transformative and it's, it was transformative in my life like a like before and after yeah I think to put what you were saying another way, they're, when you said they're not tethered, or they're not, they're, aren't they the same system? I don't think they are at all. Meaning like, it doesn't matter how you get there. Meaning like there's a system in your car that puts gas to the engine, and there's a system in the car that tells the toll authority how much to debit your account when you drive through the lane with the things. You would think those systems are connected, and they have something to do with each other. But the truth is, if you're on a moped and you drive through the lane with a little transponder, you're going to get a bill in the mail for the thing, whether the gas went into the car or not. Like they're not. Yeah. I just, to me, that's a really, that's a really extended, stretched metaphor. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I was just, I was kind of amazed that it's like, oh, I only miss, I, the only part the part that I feel like I miss out the most of is the part where I try and imprint myself on my kid because, God damn it, they should be just like me. Uh, in utero or in the first year and a half? Like in, in, in my whole life, like now. Oh, yeah, and I guess you're not yeah. looking for, you're not looking for what's you and what's I'm, your wife. I'm and reminded at every single second, because uh, also my, da my, my daughter's Mexican-American, my daughter's black, like every single second of every day of looking at them, I'm reminded of the fact that it's like, this person is their own person. This is not me. You know what I mean? Which is probably better yeah. than this person's me and I have to fight for the good stuff. And the Because yeah. I think that's actually the case with all kids and all parents. But, but it's not and obvious. If, if my dad had been able to look at me and maybe have a little more of that, I'd have six, you know, I might not be sitting here, but I might have six other blocks that I was working on instead yeah. of the ones that I'm working on. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. I'm not
not really used to the green screen. 